Welcome back. Previously, we have built our hydraulic model and we have inserted the relevant parameters in the respective hydraulic components. In this video, we will run steady-state simulation and look at the results. To start, we go to our hydraulic model in Wanda and we go to Model, Calculate, Steady. Wanda is telling us that the value of elevation is missing and it is highlighting the respective component, which is the node, as you can see. That is one of the added values of Wanda. It has a very excellent user interface, and it gives us notifications whenever we are getting something wrong. Obviously, we forgot to insert the elevations at the nodes. So now we go to the node, we select it, and we insert an elevation of 20, for the node upstream of the pipeline system uh, because that is the elevation where uh, the pipeline starts. For the nodes downstream of the pipeline system, we insert the elevation of the storage tank as well, that is zero meters. And now we run the model again. So we go to model, calculate, Steady. Now Wanda is running and it's calculating steady state uh, results. After we hear the beep, we know that uh, Wanda has done uh, the simulation. We select the valve component because we are interested in the valve position needed to have an initial flow rate of 300 cubic meters per hour. And as we can see here, uh, the valve position open that ensures 300 cubic meter per hour is 34.15%. Now, let's plot the results. Let's plot the head and pressure profile in one graph. For this, we select the pipe component and we press this button. And here we can see the head and profile uh, of the elevation in one graph. In order to add the pressure graph, we go to pressure and we drag this button into the graph window. And now we have uh, both pressure and head in one graph. We can also change the color, shape, and size of any of the lines we wish to. For this, we go to File, Chart Properties, and in here we select series and I want to change the head line and I want to have the color uh, red for example okay and now in order to copy this into our report we go to file copy chart to clipboard and we go to word and we uh, press ctrl v and then we have our graph in our report in the next videos, we will look at the dynamic simulation capacity of Wanda. Thank you.